we are indeed we've got the one toothy grin to another so from my toothy grin to a Vladimir grin and look at those teeth aren't they gnarly and nasty and dirty and pointy and well it's really quite a mouthful of teeth that now just now I was talking about this mystery jawbone and Louise you said is it not a crocodile's jawbone and you can actually see there that the crocodile's has got a very different sort of tooth structure to what we saw on that skull that skull had those triangular teeth that were flattened in places which are very typical of our herbivorous animals that cut up grass and then swallow them whereas this you see he's got big pointy teeth that are very very good at gripping and grabbing prey and then pulling them under so it's a very different jaw structure to what we saw on the road now watch when he closes his eye and hopefully he's going to open it again watch the membrane that comes out as he opens now hopefully he will open soon or has he gone back to sleep now it's amazing to watch there's this nicotating membrane that comes over the eye that protects it and when he's underwater he'll open his eye and that membrane will stay closed and it means that the water doesn't get into the eye and he can still then see underwater without getting any of that gunk and horrible stuff getting in there and causing any infections of the eye itself so it really is a very cool thing to have now of course he's not going to open his eye because I'm talking about it just now his eye kept opening and you could actually see the membrane moving around but it's because it's that kind of day where everything that I've wanted to pan out just hasn't. And so, well, Vlad is now going to keep his eye closed. What is quite funny about our enormous crocodile and sort of lighter side of a crocodile, seeing a crocodile, oh, there he opened his eye now, but is that if you look around his jaw, just to the back where his head joins his neck, it seems like a bird has decided to defecate on poor Vlad. So Vlad has obviously had a bad day and somebody has taken it upon themselves to drop some feces on him now <laughs> if i was vlad i would be very upset about all of this no one likes to be pooed on let alone on their neck and so hopefully once he goes into the water that will all sort of be washed off and he'll be back to being nice and clean but look at the armor plated scales that run down his back and sides those big feet and legs absolutely massive now roshni you're wondering how old vlad is well, Roshni, difficult to say. It's a big adult crocodile. And so I would say that this crocodile is probably at least 30 to 40 years old. It's not the biggest that we see out here. You're going to see, Roshni, when the migration gets into full swing and we start to see those river crossings and the crocodiles there that go after the wildebeest are ginormous and they will be much bigger than what we see with Vlad. And so those crocodiles, some of them up there, are close to 80 years old, 70, 80 years old, and they are huge when they get to that age they can weigh over a ton so you can imagine a ton of crocodile is quite something to see but other than that Chitra Dam is looking absolutely beautiful lots of birds that have been around 